There are many ways to prepare chicken in this world. You can deep fry them, grill them, and even use them to piss off vegans. But which technique is the best? Well, today, we're gonna find out. We're gonna put three of Joshua Wiseman's most popular recipes to the test to figure out which is the best way to cook. Starting with Joshua Weissman's grilled chicken. By the way, guys, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Chicken breast is forever going to be crappy. Why? Why would you make me make chicken breast? It's never good. Now, before we begin, let me lay down the rules. Well, number one, since we portioned all the ingredients beforehand, we are basically just cooking the dish. Recipe should take no longer than 30 minutes to 45 minutes tops. Rule number two, recipe should be easy to follow. There should not be any complicated steps and it should be quite easy to replicate at home. And rule number three, the most important rule, food must taste good. Now let's begin. Run your knife along the bone, scraping repeatedly until you've removed a nice skin on, but boneless chicken breast. Yeah, like why doesn't you just get boneless chicken breast? Like I've never ever seen anyone get bone in chicken breast. Now to make the stuffing, you're gonna start by finely chopping three slices of prosciutto. All right, so we just cut this up, like. Two and a half tablespoons or 40 milliliters of olive oil. All right, oil in. Oh. Now fry your prosciutto until very crispy and golden. All right, that for sure looking mighty fine. That looks pretty good. Stop! Take a nice sharp knife and cut along the center side of the breast. Cut along here. It looks like a vagina. <laughs> and then stuff it with a nice handful of fresh Italian parsley. So all this parsley. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Put the prosciutto in. Right. Okay, so same mixture also crushed over. Now look, if you want to be extra bougie, then just take some of your extra truffle that you have lying around. Just take your Louis Vuitton bag lying around. <laughs> like, uh... Wait, do we have extra truffle? No, we do you have a most you can afford extra truffle, okay? Simply roll your chicken up into a nice meaty log, and then fasten it with three individual strips of kitchen twine. Oh, what kind of red meat is this for the everyday cook, man? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not. Yo, yo, Joshua, I give this recipe like an F on the E's to make scale. Yo, no one making this recipe, dude. Preheat that until it reaches around 450 degrees Fahrenheit. How oh, oh, do I use this thing? Yeah, just use this one. Yo, my god, it looks so Asian. Mike, Mike. Oh, there oh, there yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. Oh. yo, this recipe is definitely, definitely not fast, okay? Bro, can I have one of these candies? And keep your chicken on the cool side of the grill and let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. 20 to 30 minutes? Yeah, I, 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 just, I just leave it here. For 20 to 30 minutes. For 20 to 30 minutes, yeah. Interesting. Bruh. While we wait, we're gonna make the next Joshua Wiseman recipe, and then we'll see how this one is in 30 minutes. The next recipe we're testing is Joshua Wiseman's Kung Pao Chicken. He's going the Asian route for this. We're gonna see if he earns his Asian card, if it's any good. Listen, I'm Asian, we're all Asian. No shit. You want the good stuff? You're paying 15, 20 dollars. When you could have it for this right here. 129? What? He's trying to tell me that all these ingredients together cost $1.29. Is this before or, or post inflation? Which should be boneless, skinless, and somehow having the same colorway as the palms of my hands. Well, I guess that depends on what race you are, right? Ah! <laughs> I. Is he talking to only white people? Put those bad boys into one inch or slightly smaller bite-sized pieces and pop them in a medium-sized bowl. And you'll add one teaspoon or four grams of cornstarch and optionally a pinch of ground white pepper. Is, is that a pinch? What? Toss together to coat two tablespoons or 36 grams of soy sauce. After this, he says coats it like this. Wait, make sure soy sauce is multiple <laughs> No shot. What is that? I don't know, man. It's really salty, but it doesn't taste exactly like soy sauce. Oh, it's this one. It's this one. It's dog soy sauce? That's, that's dark. This is okay, all right, all right. You could have just told me, bro. <laughs> Give it a nice mix to the point of auditory discomfort. Cover that and place it to the side for 10 minutes or into the fridge overnight. For our Kung Pao sauce, brother. Kung Pao sauce, brother. And add two and a half tablespoons or 33 grams of granulated sugar, two teaspoons or 10 grams of cornstarch, a quarter cup or 70 grams of soy sauce. I did a mix of half dark and half regular. I'm stuck again. That's soy sauce. This was us? Okay, thanks. Quarter cup or 58 grams of chicken stock. Yo, th okay, this is, this is good now. This is good now. The yeah, second he adds- When you add gai yeah. ting into gai, it's so much better. Yeah. Guys, don't forget, my chicken is still cooking out there. We scald it together and you have a whirlpool of flavor with a couple of things that are really yummy but not required for the sake of rice. Guys, you ready for the whirlpool of flavor with everything that's yummy but not necessarily necessary because of rice? Make sure your wok is fully seasoned. 
Add in a quarter cup or 48 grams of raw peanuts and stir fry those bad boys until golden brown. They're literally bathing in oil, these, these peanuts. Yo guys, I have bad news, man. Look, the peanuts are burnt. It, it burnt so quickly. Now add eight dried chilies. Stir fry those until fragrant and crisp, about 20 seconds. Stir fry them for 20 seconds. Oh, that's a, oh shoot. Yo, they're burning, what? Yo, they're burnt. Oh, shit, they're burnt. Yo, they're fully burnt. What the fudge? That, yeah, that's fully burnt. He said 20 seconds, I put it in for like, maybe like a second and a half. Yo. We don't actually need that chili anyway because we can just replace it with my mom's chili. Add in your chicken in batches and stir fry for three to four minutes each batch. Ow, 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 ow. Just cut, cut open one and see if it's cooked. Oh my God, that's perfect. And add three quarters of a bunch of green onions, cut into three quarter inch segments, stir fry on high for 20 seconds to lightly charred and wilted, then add one inch knob of ginger, minced, stir fry for 10 seconds, then add eight cloves of minced garlic, and stir fry that stuff until the garlic is cooked and begins to toast. It says garlic in there until the garlic is cooked. Now add your chicken back. Woo! I'm excited, I'm excited, bro. Followed by your chilies and peanuts and begin stir frying. He said to add these peanuts that are burnt back in. Then add your Kung Pao sauce and continue to stir fry until everything is beautifully thickened into a lovely glossy glaze. All right, sauce goes in. But I'm a bit concerned because there's a lot of oil in here. Holy guacamole, it looks like black. Yeah, I don't know how his is so red and this is so like not red. All right, we got here Joshua Weissman's grilled chicken, fresh off the barbie. Been sitting for 30 minutes and it's quite hot. We tested it, it's at a temperature of 165, which is what he has, so let's try it out. Dude, this, dude, this looks like cutting into a rubber tire. Okay, it's packed. It's packed with flavor. Yo, it packed. honestly is not dry. It's not dry. It doesn't look that dry, yo. No, no, no. I'm a little bit excited about this. Three, two, one. Wow! He turned this chicken breast into a chicken thigh. Sheldon, mm -hmm. you are the biggest chicken breast hater. What do you have to say about, this? about this? I think it's the best you can do a chicken breast, but it's it's still chicken breast. Right, right. You know what? It'll make it even better. Right, let's try it with some chili. Yes, chili. sir. Boom. Mm. Mm. Judging by Mike's face, my mom's chili made the chicken taste much better. On that note, let's see how my mom and I are doing with that. Previously on My Mom's Chili, despite Edward promising his mom that he helped her with making the chili, he hasn't yet. And his mom was doing it all by herself. Will Edward actually help her at all? Mommy, good news. We have a lot of orders reserved already. We're going to start making la chili. Hello, hello. Let's go. I even got an apron. I'll go to the table. You see? Chili. Got the aromatic, some garlic, some... Some onion, shallots, oil. We have the dosi, which is the black bean. This is where we're gonna cook. We got the blender here. And of course, my mom's secret ingredient, this. My mom is like, you gotta keep a secret. Let's go. So my mom's gonna wash these black beans. <laughs> She's crying now. <laughs> Wow. All right, guys, so it's been half day. We made nine bottles and a half, but we're making progress. Okay, so Kaya, we're gonna get your chili oil to you soon. Don't worry. See, we're on it. Bye, guys. Bye. Reserve your bottle of My Mom's Chili at mymomschili.com or with the link in description while supplies last. All right, Sheldon, the moment of truth. Now we're gonna judge it on three main areas. Number one, how long the recipe took. Number two, was it easy to follow? And finally, number three, how does it taste? How long did this recipe take? This recipe took so long. Like, come on, bro. Like, I had to let it sit on the barbecue for half an hour additional. Two out of 10. No one's spending an hour to make chicken breast. Was this recipe easy to follow? This recipe was okay easy to follow. Like, I had to become like a little like rolling specialist. It was not bad, it was not bad. I'd give like, a, like an eight for easy to follow. Eight, eight for easy to follow? You are completely. <laughs> The most important thing, Sheldon. How does this chicken breast taste? On the scale of just chicken in general, it's a five. 
What? It's come on, it's chicken breast. No one likes chicken breast. If you put make the same recipe chicken thigh, can you make can you rank it on a scale of chicken breast? Okay. On a scale of chicken breast, it's like an eight. It's pretty right, good. What would you give it? What would you give it? Eight. I will give it an eight. Let's do it unanimous. Eight. Wow. But food wise, food wise, just food, it will be like a seven. Yeah, like don't don't make this recipe. Yeah. You don't make you don't, don't even get chicken breast, guys. Get, get yeah. Chicken thigh, man. Joshua Wiseman's chicken breast recipe has a total score of 18. 18. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right, this is Joshua Wiseman's Kung Pao chicken. Right off the bat, it doesn't seem like the color is there. Um, maybe my fault. I don't know. So let's let everyone dig in this try. It's pretty salty. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, this is this portion properly. What the, what the yeah. Part? This is we portioned this. Right. Now, now we're, now we're gonna try this with that is mom's chili. Mom's chili. Better? Bro. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't just, you don't just taste, taste salt, right? Mm -hmm. right? Much better. Much, much better. Much better. Actually, like, actually, it actually makes it so I didn't eat. With that being said, Edward, you gotta give it a final score. Okay, number one, in terms of length of time, what do we give that out of 10, Edward? Five. Five out of 10. Yeah. That's pretty generous, to be honest. You think so? I think that's pretty generous. Considering that I expect Chinese food to be like, maybe, yeah, 10, 15 minute recipe. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Four. Four out of ten. Yeah. In terms of time. Unlucky Chinese number. Number two, ease of recipe. Ease of recipe. Was this e recipe easy to follow? I think it was a little bit hectic at times, man. Uh, they're burning. What? Yo, they're burning. Oh. Aside from that, it was okay. Five. A five out of ten. Five out of ten. And finally, most importantly, the taste. With or without my mom's chili. Without, sorry, without, without the chili oil. Without the chili oil. Because with your mom's chili is gonna be a ten. Obviously. Okay. It doesn't taste bad. Yeah. You know, it is a little bit a little bit like kind of salty, but aside from that, the chicken's good. The sauce is like has some pretty rich flavor. So six and a half. Six and a half. Would you give him six and a half? I give him. I bump him up to seven. No. <laughs> wait. Okay. Wait. 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 Oh! wait. Imagine a Chinese restaurant with with that with that with this dish, right? And you probably give the Chinese your average Chinese restaurant like maybe like an eight on that dish, right? Yeah. Sure. Compared to that. This is about a five. Oh, but, yeah, but you gotta take into account this is a homemade meal as well. Yeah. Okay, if it, given that as a homemade meal, what would you give it? Well, it's not seven, right? I guess like a six. A six, okay, let's settle in the middle. A six. This dish is a 15 out of 30. It's literally a mid dish. It's quite it's quite mid, man. It's so what do we gotta say about this recipe? Joshua Wiseman, your kung pao chicken, it's just kind of mid. If we f***ed up on anything and we wanna take like ownership of it, let us know in the comment yeah. down below because we want to know if it's our fault. Yeah, yeah but no, we, we just, just did what he said. I just did what he said, yeah. Okay, all right. It's my turn now. I'm going to be making Joshua Wiseman's Korean fried chicken. And after this, guys, we're going to find out which recipe is the best. Let's begin with our Korean fried chicken, also called Yang Yum chicken. Yang Yum chicken? What? what? How, do you, how do you pronounce it? Korean fried chicken? Yeah. Chicken. Oh, okay. Yang Yum chicken? Yang Yum chicken? I mean, you guys are the ones that are Korean, bro. Oh, yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, very simple. Start with two pounds or 900 grams of chicken pieces. Two pounds. Put it in here. To that, you'll add one tablespoon or 17 grams of grated ginger. And then we add grated ginger. One teaspoon or half a gram of fine ground black pepper. What else? Do you oh, black pepper. Generous salt to taste. I'm not a generous person. If I'm a very selfish person, how much is generous to me? $20 worth of salt. That's no, yo, dude, he put a you, you, he put a lot of salt, man. And just toss that bad boy together and let it sit for at least five minutes at room temp or covered in the fridge overnight. I don't understand why he keeps on doing this thing where he says five minutes or overnight, but five minutes and overnight is a huge difference. It's simply one cup or 165 grams of cornstarch and a quarter teaspoon or half a gram of baking soda. I have a question for everyone out there. Can you explain to me why baking soda can be used to deodorize a fridge, I, I have but also that. be used as cooking ingredient. I have always wondered and I've never come to an answer. Okay, we get the white powder done. See, the flavor for the Korean fried chicken will be added after cooking with a sauce consisting of half a cup or 160 grams of gochujang, some gram of gochujang, six tablespoons or 104 grams of ketchup, a quarter cup or 50 grams of soy sauce, ketchup, let it flow like a little baby boat. Five tablespoons or 160 grams of brown rice vinegar, a quarter cup or 60 grams of mirin. Okay, bro, okay, I, I'm losing it. Uh, brown rice vinegar, mirin all look the same. So I'm assuming it's these two. Add it to a pot, whisk till homogenous, and heat it over medium heat just until it begins to simmer. Uh, I gotta whisk it till it's homo. <laughs> Genius. <laughs> <laughs> and mix it eight cloves of finely chopped garlic. Okay, the time to fry has come. Scientific method is this. 
And then Ishima says, Bubbles! <laughs> and aggressively press the dredge into every nook and cranny till the wet spots are dry. <laughs> Place into fry oil that's been preheated to 325 Fahrenheit, and you'll probably want to do this in two to three batches, by the way. Oh. Sheesh. Oh, sh Wait, I gotta run over there after. Because. He says do it in two batches. I think, I think you're like, you can probably do it all in one. No, 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 not doing that again. You literally put not doing that again. four in. Not that again. This is the first batch fry. Ready? You guys wanna see? Light brown. Whoa. And really? <laughs> Holy sh dude, yo, yo. What? Dude, the chicken's bleeding. It's bleeding, right? It's bleeding. Holy sh bro, I just noticed. Increase your oil temperature to 375 Fahrenheit and place your chicken back into the fryer for one to two minutes or until a beautiful golden brown. Why do people, yeah, yeah, why do people double fry and not just leave it in there for a longer time? Are you doing some kind of intermediary right. step Shut, between? Sean has a look on his face where he knows why. Why? When you do two fries, what you do is you will go, when you take it out, you allow the interior to keep cooking. And then when you put it back in, it can catch up. You get what I mean? Because otherwise, if you leave it the right amount of time in there, for the interior to cook, then the outside is gonna to be too fried. I give you that one. That's pretty good. Three it is three seventy-five. Yeah. Three seventy seven. Three eighty. Oh, three eighty. Holy oh, shit. I think you need to go in right now. Yeah. Second fry is an aggressive fry. Oh, that's one aggressive fry. Second fry only up to one minute to make it crispy. Screw all the rules. Yo, yo, my move on top. After. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So your hands ready. <laughs> so sauce goes in here, goes in this bowl. Joshua said it goes straight from the Oil into the sauce. Sauce drench. Sauce Ready? Sauce. And we're going in. Okay. Woo! Let's go. I said, yeah, I actually, I actually oh. love fried chicken. I don't know how to toss it. I don't know how to toss okay. it. Woo! Wow! You guys seen a little good. sesame seed? Looks good. So far, the recipes have been pretty good. However, you know what's better than pretty good? Squarespace. It's really good. Well, that's because Squarespace makes it easy to make a website. Not just that, but it's completely free to try, super easy to use, and it'll help you accomplish all those goals that you've been putting off. For example, let's say everyone has been asking for your mom's chili oil and you wanted to make an online store for her. You know, just a hypothetical scenario. You can start by picking your template, adding some graphics, your products, and there you have it. Your mom's chili oil's own website. You got a great website and she's finally proud of you for the first time in your life. In addition to your store, you'll need a way to communicate with your audience like the launch date for the chili oil. That's where Squarespace's email campaign feature comes in. You can introduce your brand to new subscribers with welcome emails, major announcements, and let them know when the sauce launches. You can also keep track of all the analytics on the back end. And now if you wanna take it one step further, you can even use Squarespace to foster community engagement among your audience. Just set up a blog page where you can chat with your amazing fans and keep them up to date with everything you've planned. But 100% the best part is that Squarespace is completely free for two weeks so you can test it out really Risk free. Not only that, but you also save 10% on your future subscription if you choose to continue using it after your trial. So go make that dream come true or your mom's dream and check out Squarespace with our link in the description box below for your free trial today. All right, Joshua, don't let me down with this last one. All right, guys, moment of truth. We're going to find out just how good Joshua Wiseman's Korean fried chicken is. Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, Sheldon, everyone take one. All right, let's go. Ready? Three, right. two, one. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that, cool. that perfectly cooked. Now, before we finish, we gotta try it with my mom's chili sauce on this. Classic dip. Go oh, with the, the dip. Mm. Mm. How's it, boys? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's better with this because there's no there's no kick to before. Mm -hmm. But I will say, pretty damn good. Anyways, before we do that though, guys, we have to judge. Joshua Wiseman's Korean fried chicken recipe. Number one, how long did it take? So in terms of uh, time-wise, it's the fastest one today. I'll give it a five out of 10. Yeah. Number two, easy to follow. I'll give this one an easy eight out of 10 for that one. Eight out of 10. Pretty easy to follow. Classic fry recipe. Yeah, it's not hard to make this, yeah. Not hard to make. And the last portion, and the most important portion, is the taste. Guys, what are we gonna give this one? If I were to rate this on taste, 9.4! Okay, wait, 9, 9. If we give the chicken breast an 8, yeah. I too will give this a 9. You're gonna hate me. I'm gonna give it a 7. Oh! Wow. The skin isn't isn't that crispy. That is true. That the is skin fair. isn't that crispy. Alright, Sheldon, you convinced me. 8.5. Like 8.5? The, 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 the sauce is good. 
The sauce is good, but the skin isn't crispy enough. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. All right, eight. Uh, okay. 21.5? Eight, eight and a five, 21. So after we test the three different ways of making chicken, we can say that deep fry is the best way to make chicken. Thank you guys for watching today's video and make sure to pick up a bottle of my mom's chili with the link in the description box below. Reserve it now and also help support my mom actually make it for you guys. And if you enjoyed today's video, then click here to watch us test Nick DiGiovanni's most popular recipes and click here for a video that YouTube thinks you love. Peace!